Hello, in this video I'd like to demonstrate how to download the MNIST data set from the Internet and then how to load that data set into MATLAB and then how to view the images of the digits. So the first thing we could do is go to uh, Google and type in MNIST data set. And here we find the uh, location of the data set, uh, the MNIST data set of handwritten digits. And as you read through this, you will notice that the data sets are available here in compressed format. They're in these binary files, which uh, you would have to, before you could look at the actual digits, you'd have to strip off this header information. So a better choice would be to go uh, back to Google and search MNIST CSV. Uh, and here what we have available is the MNIST data set in CSV or comma separated variable format, which is preferable. So we can download the train set just by clicking this and it downloads and the test set. And the training set I believe might be 60,000 so it takes a little bit to download that. Okay, downloads complete. Let's also download the test set. Okay, that I believe is 10,000 images. So if I look at my downloads I see that I now have uh, test set and train set. Now let's see how we can load these into MATLAB. So we open up MATLAB <clears throat> here and I'm going to create a new uh, directory to load these into. So I'll, at the command prompt issue the command make directory, directory let's call it mnist Okay, that directory already exists, so let's make a directory called test mnist. Okay, and now we will change into that directory. And if we run the list command ls, we see that the directory is currently empty. We can see it over here. I'm going to go to my downloads and copy the test set. And go back to MATLAB and just paste it in there. So now I have this test set stored in this directory. And if we hit list, we can see that it's there. So to load that into MATLAB, I want to load it into a variable called data. It's equal to load. And we put the file name here, enclosed in single quotes. MNIST test.csv. Semicolon at the end, please. Notice it's taking a moment for that to load in. It's now loaded in. So let's see what this uh, variable data contains. I'm going to hit size data. And we see that it's a matrix of 10,000 rows corresponding to each, the image for each digit, and 78 pixels. Now each pixel is 28 by 28, which is 784 bits. So the first bit, or the first byte in each row is the label for what digit that row contains. For example, if we look at the first row and the 
first entry in the first row, we get a 7, which says that the digit 7 is stored in the first row. So I'd like to create a uh, clear this and create a new variable called labels by taking just the first column. Okay, so the semicolon means I want all rows but just the first column. So labels now, if I show it, contains all the labels for the 10,000 rows. <clears throat> I'm going to create a second variable, images, where I just strip off from data. Now I want everything, I want all the rows again, but just columns 2 through the end. And semicolon at the end, please. So let's look at what the size of this matrix images is. Now we have 10,000 rows corresponding to 10,000, the image for 10,000 digits, each containing 784 bytes. So to display an image, if I take the first image, images take the first row and everything. Well, that's going to give you a row vector of 784 pixel values. But we want to wrap that back up into our 28 by 28 image. So we will reshape this. So now what we have is we've taken the first row and we've reshaped it into a 28 by 28 matrix, which represents the image for our first pixel. Okay. <clears throat> if we display that, we're just going to see this. And I want to do color map gray. And I want to hit the up arrow key to get back this command here. So to display this image, we hit image SC for image scale, and that will display this image. And I'll explain the purpose of this single quote in a moment. So this should display that first digit. And there we have it. We have a 7. Let's hit the up arrow key and just go in here and change this one to, let's say, 22, which is saying, show me the image corresponding to row 22. It looks like a 6. Well, what we can do is we can look at labels and look at the 22nd entry and see what it says that digit is and we get a six. Okay, hope that helps. Thank you.